there's something about TCS that just changes people. I know personally from my experience, teaching at TCS has made me become a more involved and more enthusiastic teacher. When I first came to Thamashalfu in grade seven, I was a really scared person, really closed off. But now looking at grade nine, I've had so many opportunities to grow and I think Odepemsawak helped with that. It's teaching me to always be accountable for myself and always know what I'm capable of and always take the opportunities that I need in order for me to be successful. In grade seven, I applied for this social media and broadcasting club and I think that really helped me develop new talking skills and becoming more of a non-closed off person. We help students understand their strengths by challenging them through not only academics but through athletics and our house program that gives students a wide range of opportunities. Every single student and staff member in this building has a place. Our house system is a place where students will be sorted into a specific house and they'll stay in that house for their three years at Thelma Shalafu. I think the house system changed how I thought junior high was going to be because of all the connections that have been made because everyone looks at junior high as some sort of hierarchy where grade nines are on top and grade sevens are all the way at the bottom. But with our house system, a grade seven could easily become friends with a grade nine and learn things from each other and experience new things that they would have never experienced. And we also have points that we use to reward exemplary behavior such as respect or love or humility. This is like a year-long Harry Potter style competition but what we've actually found is that there's less competition between houses and more collaboration within houses. Otapemsawak means so much to me. It teaches me to show up on time to practices, to be there when I have made a commitment towards something in my school. It teaches me to make sure that I'm in charge of myself and I make sure I'm where I need to be, when I need to be. That way I can have a better future. Being your own boss, you find different areas of the school, whether it's athletics, arts, music, drama, leadership that fit your style. What I really like about it is it teaches responsibility and ownership. Students are not being told by the teachers how to behave, what to do, what's right, what's wrong. Students are in that position to hopefully reflect on Ota Pemsawak and, and figure it out for themselves. Before I joined all these athletics teams, I was a very shy and closed off person. And through sports, I've developed my personality into more of a outgoing person who will talk to other people, make new friends. And I have learned how to commit to something and stick with it for long periods of time. So 20 years from now, when students reflect on what they've learned here at TCS, we hope that our students have learned how to be grateful. Having gratitude makes you humble, gives you a positive mindset. To put that word yet at the end of your sentences, right? I can't do this yet. I think when you try something new, there's something that changes in your brain. You're like, oh, I tried something new and it didn't go bad. Maybe I should try this again. And then you're going to go try another new thing and another new thing. And eventually you're just going to become a more well-rounded person. Being afraid of making mistakes only holds you back. Actually taking that step forward and overcoming and learning from the process is what's going to help you develop that confidence to do something again, to put yourself out there, to have courage, to take risks. STEM has changed me as a learner in terms of failure because now I have a completely different perspective of it. At first, I was so worried for failure that I avoided every risk. I would never participate in anything. I would never raise my hand. I would never say anything. But STEM has taught me that failure is okay because in order to move forward, we have to develop ourselves and we have to fail. People who don't fail aren't gonna get anywhere because they don't know what's wrong and they think what they know is right. But sometimes it might not be. Our goal is to produce a learner, a member of society that is m more well-rounded in the way that they can solve a problem, much more resilient uh, in the sense that they can try something, realize that it won't work, go back and analyze what it was that they created in the first place, create a new iteration to try again. I think the part I love most about STEM is mostly the challenges. These STEM challenges that we're given are really open-ended and that means that the STEM program gives their students a lot of freedom. And these 
students, they're coming up with so many diverse solutions and it's really cool at the end of each challenge for all of us to come together and be like, wow, I never would have thought of that. When we do our STEM challenges, we have all of our students working together at the same time. And even though I might only teach two classes, having all of our students there means that all teachers get to know all students and we get to build those relationships and connections that we wouldn't have gotten to do in a traditional program. Well, junior high is an interesting phase, right? Students are going through so much in such a short amount of time. And so empowering our students to really advocate for themselves and believe in themselves really helps them see their path kind of be formed for them. The best thing about teaching, especially in junior high, is being able to help mold and shape the people that are going to be our future. We all are able to make an impact in a student's life. At TCS, our teachers are the best at that.